Hi Mike, uh, I just thought perhaps you might like some of these uh, other options that Strava has to offer. Um, these really aren't uh, available as far as I understand on the phone. So on your computer, you can go to Safari and the URL, just type in strava.com. And of course you'll have to sign in. But once you do, you see the similar feed that you would see on your phone. Um, but one thing you can do, and I thought perhaps you might like to make some of your own segments, is you click on a ride that you've done. And then towards the left, you do have this little action icon. And if you click on that, you can go up to the very top where it says create segment. So whenever you go to create segment, you have your starting point and ending point that you can change and you can see on the map where uh, you can kind of see highlighted in blue the segment that you would go ahead and create. So here I'm going to go ahead and try to do that little loop that we did I mentioned that we could create a segment for. So I'm going to zoom into the map a little bit and it's it's a little finicky, a little tedious trying to get that just right. So as I move these sliders back and forth okay so there's where I had that water loop stop for some water okay so this is where the the loop starts for me where I want to make it so I'm trying to get this little green starting point just a little bit further to the left it's really hard moving these sliders towards the top so uh, what I can do is I have move start point. I can move that back in ever so small increments. And that's what I want to have as my starting point. As far as the ending point, I need to go ahead and get that close to where I want it. And then I can just keep manually moving that back. and that's where I want it to finish. So here I just have this segment of this loop. Again, a little tedious just getting that just right. It takes a little bit of practice kind of, so to speak, on that. Um, but once you've done that, you can go ahead and towards the left, select next, uh, go ahead and name this. I'm gonna call this Hooks River Road Loop. And then you wanna make sure to uncheck make this segment private. Um, if, if you do this, then you presumably will be the only one that can see this segment. So once I go ahead and hit create, it's nine o'clock. It's nine o'clock. Uh, I now have that segment and it may take a little bit for that to kind of configure and, uh, and populate all the times that people and yourself have ridden that. Um, but within a, a short amount of time that should be available to you. The other thing I really like is when I'm viewing a ride, you can go ahead and view flybys. And this is kind of fun. Um, what I have here is towards the left, you can see all these different names. So these are everybody that's been close to where we've ridden. And you can go ahead and check all the names that you want to see the flybys. Here, I'm just going to leave you and I checked. And I'm going to go ahead and press play. <clears throat> and now on the map, you can see where I'm kind of writing, where I, where I went. Um, towards the left here, I do have a playback speed where I can adjust this to go faster. And so as I move that much faster, you can kind of see in, um, in fast forward time that you'll pop up here in uh, just a moment when you started your ride. And now I can see you looping over and over again in this little segment, which, which is where I finally found you. Anyways, it's kind of uh, it's, it's a fun way to, to explore um, your rides and what other people did on there thought you might like this. Um, anyways, I hope you enjoy and perhaps I'll see you